Hello everybody, welcome. I'm uh, just arriving at Ben's flat. Uh, shall we see if I can... Hello. It has opened the door. I'll show the number. I'll share the address. Evers are going to share the address. <laughs> Come in! <laughs> How are you? Welcome to my abode. <laughs> Hello. Evers, what have you done inviting us here today? Risky, isn't it? <laughs> this is so risky. <laughs> This we've, is the first time we've seen Ebba's flat, and I know what you're all thinking. House tour! <laughs> <laughs> so, this is his genuine fridge full of booze. Only because I've not, I wasn't here this weekend. This so is I'm a like, chef's fridge. Condiments at the top. Oh look, there's some, some fresh, fresh stuff bits. there. I hope you're going to use all of that. This wasn't Standard. like your fridge was like when we did a uh, what's inside of chef's fridge. All my condiments. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, also, sorry. also, this also has been Ben goes to lots of events and picks up what well, for inspiration for sorted, but also gets a bunch of freebies. <laughs> Just still some gins, some rums, how many some liqueurs? Marvelous. <laughs> Which one would you like? <laughs> It's a lovely, lovely place. Look, we're here in London. Admit. Where is everyone else joining us from? Because what's crazy is there's already loads of you. He's trying to stick to I'm the trying to, I'm, <laughs> trying to, I'm trying to avoid you going through too many cupboards. Just to, to avoid the fact that he's clearly embezzling funds from sort of <laughs> Look how nice this place Can I point is. out, no pizza oven though. I'm just going to point out. No, no pizza oven. No pizza, yeah. All right. Uh, no, it's very true though. There are 2,127 people. Yes. Uh, on the live stream, we want 2,127 comments. Where are you joining us from? Tell I can us. tell you four from Germany, three from Netherlands, three from Texas, two from Norway so far. Oh, are right. you doing that like counting cards? Is, it, is that how you're able to do that? Or? No, I want to show these guys this. We've got this amazing plugin now that as you guys comment, this is telling us exactly where you are coming from. So uh, there we go. So here's a challenge. Four of you from Germany. We want comment and we want to find the most obscure place possible. Oh, oh, yeah, let's... Can we find a place that we've oh, never Someone from M Malta. Okay, well, Uruguay. Singapore. I had a stag do in Malta. You did. I don't remember much of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I remember why you don't remember wow. much of it. 372 <laughs> locations. Go, go on the one. So the comments are whizzing by so fast. That's why we got this plug-in. So basically you can find out exactly and, and whoa, consolidate where everyone is. <laughs> That's just updated. What's that? There's a comment saying you'd like to see Ben's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Here it is. Where's the black light? <laughs> <laughs> and his bed was this pristine when we arrived. Yeah. Standard Ebbers. But what's on the dresser, Mike? Two chefs. Oh. <laughs> he knew we were coming. He, no, he feel, must have. This so needs watering. <laughs> Look at this, Ebbers, water this, for goodness sake. <laughs> it's supposed to be limp, it's plastic. It's not, look, new growth. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> That's why I didn't invite you around. Hello. It is lovely. This, this is absolutely beautiful. Somebody out in seven, in, seven oh, in Hawaii. It's so seven much clearer now I've cleaned this lens. Oh, well done. Well done, mate. Oh, yeah. It's got some powder on it. We are professional out <laughs> yeah. here. 70 view from Hawaii, this is awesome. Wow. Right, what are we going to do? What are we, what so are we look, doing? The, the whole point of this is we, we know, we can see how many of you comment and you, we always read the comments and we always let your suggestions steer the content that we've been doing for, for 13 odd years. And right now, we've realised that we're in a kind of special place together as a sort of community. We've got you guys literally all around the world. There's two of you in Mumbai um, and <laughs> 20 of you in the Netherlands and 10 of you in London. Only 10 in London. 11. Come on, Londoners. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got you all around 14. the world, and actually now, as a sort of community, we can begin to kind of like shape the content that we create even more so. So we want to talk to you about kind of like food trends, what matters to you, what really makes a difference, so that the content that we bring you on YouTube over the coming months is more relevant to you, and we can all learn from what, as a community, we need, rather than us just going, that'd be fun. I think, I think it's safe to say that um, times are a little tight at the moment. I mean, you wouldn't think so. <laughs> but what with the gold? Yeah, no, it's, no, no, it's a tight gold mesh. It's less than five hundred square foot of flat. It's tight. Yeah, but it does have a lovely gold tap. It does. <laughs> Look at that, and it works. Wow. And uh, today is a for us a very special treat because we've never been here before. Even though you've been here for how long? I haven't invited you. You've just always got kids and wives and stuff. Oh, oh, no. No. Our other oh, friends yeah. come. 
So today we're talking about special treats. The special things, occasions. Special occasions, I think the things that pick you up in life, because food is one of the best things in life. The it's little luxuries in food and drink that just bring you a little bit of joy. Mm. I like that. Being in your fat gives me joy. <laughs> <laughs> I've just started eating. I'm just <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's a, it's a picky lunch. It's just it's some roasted mushroom and lentil and pasta salad. There's this kind of tomato and cheese thing going on. Figs in blankets. That, no. Yeah. No! Rather than pork inception. Mate, they are. No. They're actually delicious. They're incredible. They're 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 and some cheese, some olives, and some um, fresh warm bread if you want as well. Oh, Ben, you're so talented at cooking. How oh, did yeah. you make all this? So, I don't know if you know this thing we do at Sorted Food. It's all about food waste and avoiding it. We had a lovely lunch at the studio today, and this was all left over. So, um, King of Tupperware, I brought it back for this. Wonderful. Thanks, Thanks good. Butter for that. Uh, no. Why? Good, I've, got really, really I've got some really good olive oil, it's unfiltered and cloudy. Do you want any balsamic? Uh, yes. Is, is this one of your little luxuries of blo a bloody bougie olive oil? <laughs> this was a gift, it's a housewarming gift from a friend. Oh, uh, I need to say hello to Kai. Hi Kai. Uh, hello. She's from Singapore and uh, her and her husband are massive super big fans. Yes. Right. Salt. Thank you. Have you got Pack a bit of Yeah. I'm going to start this question because Mike asked it a while ago and I didn't push go. Is there an ingredient or category of food that you use more regularly but never compromise on? It brings you a bit of joy. So things like, I don't know, good olive oil or good coffee. Mm. Things that you love. You're like, actually, whilst times might be tough, I'm not prepared to cut back on this because it's the little joy I get in life yep. with food and drink. In or out of the house. Up to you. Comment, comment down below. What do you want? About something. Um... This is going to be pretentious. No, it won't be. <laughs> be so I don't think it will be. Um, I think we every every week we buy our shop from the local supermarket. But I always make the effort to go to the farm shop to get my meat. Oh. And I think you yeah, actually have been reducing your meat consumption. We, yeah, we you? don't we don't eat much. We have like one or two meals a week will be meat based. So therefore, we make sure the chicken or the beef or the pork or the whatever it may be. Is of the best quotes I can and is relatively local. Has this changed since you bought chickens and you no. now have chickens running around? You've got meat in your garden. <laughs> <laughs> Fresher than you can get. Hang on a second, one, three of them died. Did you eat them? Because that's food waste I was. Genuinely, genuinely, that was a thing. When I woke up one morning, went out, so it was a really cold day. Oh, no. Pick, this is a weird thing. Depressing. I had to pick up Tiger. Tiger? Had to look at Tiger. And, um, I was like, oh my goodness, a dead chicken, this is, this is terrifying. Pick it up, I was like, oh, this feels more familiar than holding a live chicken. Because yeah. I've held many dead chicken in the park. <laughs> yeah, it's but so true. And it was cold. What, what, what I do it this? was very cold, wasn't it? So you, you're it used to holding cold. cold chicken carcasses. But I wasn't prepared to pluck it and eat it, because it had a name. <laughs> oh, <laughs> moving so quickly away from <laughs> death. <laughs> Big comments coming in, butter, bread, coffee, chocolate, cheese, and wine. Are butters kind of... are great. Oh, yeah, butter. butters, butters are, are really, oh, that might be because I didn't have any butter in this, oh, and yeah, people okay. were telling off me off for not having butter. We buy posh butter. Like, it's one of those things, it sits there as a treat when you have bougie buttered bread. Mm. But I also have the basic stuff there as well. Yeah, I'm, I think I only ever buy, like, really basic unsalted butter from a supermarket. Mm. Right, and spread it and put some sea salt on it. Yeah, but good, I mean, I'm going to say Irish, good Irish butter, salted mm. Irish butter is so good. Do you know what mine is? Okay, I've actually got one. So, there's a, a local cafe run by a friend of ours uh, in the town that I live in, and she sources locally roasted coffee beans. So, I have got to a level, and it's embarrassing to say, where if, I, if I'm drinking coffee, I want it to be nice coffee and therefore it's a treat. And before we had our baby, my wife said to me, your last hurrah can be <laughs> to buy a, a coffee machine. It's not like an espresso proper, it's a one touch button because that's all I've got the attention span for. But have that because you're gonna need it and I basically only ever fill this through, uh, fill this coffee machine with nice coffee beans. And that's my one little thing that I don't, I won't compromise on. And I'll try a different roast or a different variety of 
coffee bean from the same place oh, every time really? I rebuy it. And it's really expensive for like a 250 gram bag, but I probably only buy them maybe once a month. But is that also locally roasted? Is like super tasty? Yeah, or is it more about where it's sourced? Yeah, hundred think... percent. But but it tastes fantastic. But you also go out of your way to go to that one person. Yeah, because at it... random points in your day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Is that when you're supposed to be in a meeting with me? <laughs> <laughs> it's always when I'm in a meeting. With you. <laughs> it's a lot. Well, a lot of people agree with you saying coffee. Sorry, Jay. I have to turn my camera off. Where are you? <laughs> Crossing the road. Yeah. Posh coffee beans for me. Yeah, Somebody, okay. Somebody's also saying razor sharp cheddar. Ooh, it's like, a, like right. a really like sharp cheddar. Um, and we've got, we've got a lot of comments about coffee. Also, by the way, basically what you're commenting down below, if, if it matters to you and it's the thing you're saving, we'll try and make it more of the spread next time. Um, so I'm also working out what we can do. Yeah, has with, anyone said figs in blankets? <laughs> <laughs> what we can do with wine, chocolate, Cheese, coffee, and bread. Well, wine, I want salt. Wine, wine is like a very. I want. To, I don't want to say stereotypical, but it's a very normal. There is a phrase of "life is too short to drink terrible wine." Correct. And I can imagine that you definitely live. Do you want to do, that's really embarrassing. The first piece of furniture that arrived was the wine rack. Was it? Before There's... I had a sofa, a coffee table, or anything. Oh, yeah. Just in case you didn't think there was enough booze in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't keep the red wine in the fridge. Mike, you only keep the white wine in I there. Don't know. I will happily compromise on red wine. Yeah, I don't drink it. <laughs> I can, I can drink bad wine. I can get it, it. It hits it. It hits me in the right place. It doesn't completely satisfy me, but it just gets me over the edge. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I it takes the edge of a, 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 a tough works. day or week. So for me, that's, wine in it, I think wine is my category oh, of go. thing. But right. Yeah, I don't. I prefer not to sacrifice and compromise on. If you're going to drink wine, wine, you're not drinking terrible wine. And I would that? say that's also because it's value for money. Oh. If you buy like a six pound bottle of wine, the amount of money you actually spend on wine is tiny because of duty and vat and bottle and distribution. Whereas if you spend like ten pounds in a bottle of wine, it's the same cost for the bottle and the tax and the duty and everything. But you're spending an awful lot more, so twice the money gets you basically ten times the value of wine. So for me, like spending more on wine is a luxury that I'm not prepared to sacrifice on. If you've just joined us, we're talking little luxuries. Sorry, that was rude. No, no, no. I just dismissed you. I accept your position. But there's lots of people um, who have just joined. But those of you who have just joined, we're basically talking about little luxuries that in food and drink that bring you joy. And right now, we're talking about things that. Those little things, like for me, locally roasted coffee beans, I won't buy any other coffee because if I'm gonna drink coffee, I want this little special part of my day to be joyful. What are your categories, your ingredients? Make sure you comment and we're basically gonna see if we can formulate a load of content off the back of your, your little luxuries. I'm excited to hear this man's little luxuries. But very, very just very specifically, what is the one luxury? Oh yeah, so what? the one the one luxury you that have to you pick one. yeah, it's not kind of like a you one thing you want one. you kind of choose to spend your money on as opposed to having to spend your money on because it's like clothes. Yeah, no, so it's, it's like obviously not clothes, but... clothes for Jamie. So it's fine. <laughs> oh, they're not little. Luxuries, <laughs> <laughs> they're quite big. Um, I'm going to say tequila. That's. I mean, you went to a tequila festival recently, yeah. and you said you were... He's such a fad dad. You were worried about going, because it was the end of a long week, and we, it was, we'd had a whole bunch of going, like, do I really want to go into town to go to a tequila festival? <clears throat> and then you came back and you went, it was amazing. It was amazing. I went with, I went with a mate who was a, the guy that got tickets for us, and he's the one that's got me into tequila. But it's opened up this whole new world for me of tequila that I had no idea about. The only thing I knew about tequila was it's the it's the terrible decision that you make too it's late the at night. It's water. Yeah, but it's not. That's just because we've been drinking terrible tequila. I have to say, since we recently came back from Texas, um, you gave me real tequila, and I am not good on not good tequila. You, you've had bad tequila in your, had... in your past, and you've done terrible things as a result of it. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> the difference between... Bad tequila and good tequila is actually astounding. It, it's incredible, and therefore, I will never drink 
terrible tequila. But again. somebody saying craft beer, which I think sits into the same category. It does. Actually. Oh, I drink bad beer. I love it. I love <laughs> a terrible lager. Sam Down is saying that take your hat off indoors. It's very rude. And I'm, I'm with Sam Down. If you just take your hat off indoors, it's very hey, rude. Hey, Sam. I take your point. <laughs> my hair is terrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, with beer, it's situation. There are times when nothing can beat the taste of a Bud Light yes. or a Coors. Nothing can beat a lot of Other lager. cheap, terrible brands are available. <laughs> when you need, when you no, need but, uh, when hydration. You need, it's just a light beer and it's perfect. There are other times when that will not do and I need a uh, five and a half, six percent IPA. I could sort you out one of those. Probably. Oh, yes, please. Oh, absolutely. Of course you can. We dig deep enough. Um, Jay, can you show Mash me... IPA, 5%. Jay, can you show everybody how we're collating information? And like, this is not just like, comments that don't just disappear. Uh, let, like, me, let, getting... me one. let me do one. Let me do one. Oh, do one. Yeah, you do, do one. one. Let me do one. Uh, basically, yeah, all, your, all your comments aren't just disappearing. We are collecting everything. On this magical tool that shows like where you all came from. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. It's amazing. So basically, in the last few months where we started doing more of these lives, you'll see how quickly the comments are going through. Ice cream. I see, one word came through, I just said it. <laughs> I had to say it because it went too quick. Two words, ice cream. Um, the comments come through so quickly, it's so hard to keep up. So we've been using this tool that just helps us look at all of the comments and actually be able to collect them and turn them into something useful. They don't disappear, they're is, still there once which we is, stop going live. Which is amazing, it makes these even more useful, not just for us, but for you as well. So speaking of which, we're going to throw a poll up onto your screen. Very simple, why? Is this luxury or category that you've just written about? Some of you said beer and cheese and wine and coffee and chocolate. Great. Why is this luxury or category important to you? Um, and there's a poll. So you're only allowed to pick one. Um, so pick whichever one you think is why that thing that you wrote is most important to you. Um, so for me, wine. Um, oh, whilst it is, whilst, no, I said but if it's that, that wasn't news. Whilst it is about quality and taste and origins and provenance where it comes from, and it's a reward and a treat, I think for me the most key one would be value for money. Because if you spend a few pounds extra, you get a lot more pounds value or time multiple value in the actual quality of the wine. Because mm -hmm. the cost of the bottle, the cost of the duty remains the same, the cost of transportation remains the same. But a £10 bottle of wine gives you an awful lot more value of wine than a six pound bottle of wine. How, how much of that is value versus knowledge? Like, so for example, if you're spending three, four pounds more on your wine, are you appreciating that because you know a lot more about wine and therefore you can either taste the subtleties or you read about the terroir and you can appreciate that? Or to the proper normal, like me, yep. between two bottles of Rioja, because it's the only wine I can think of, <laughs> With a three pound price difference, am I really, am I gonna taste the difference? Wine is hugely subjective, as all food is, but I would say you can generally get more complexity out of it. So you, drink, you can drink a wine and go, that's a really lovely simple wine, and you know it's just delivering like that. Whereas more expensive wines, there's more complexity. So somebody might say it's got more herbaceous or floral notes in it, or it's got more kind of aging and tobacco and kind of like um, savory, meaty notes in it, and you start to pick out a lot more layers of complexity. Now. If you don't know what you're looking for, and you can't identify it as a challenge, but you probably won't know until you've had it. All you can ever do is put two side by side, and we've done a lot of sort of blind taste tests this summer. And it's not until you remove all other conversations and just on taste, can you spot the difference? That would be the question. But I think the big thing for that, for me, and we've been in the very fortunate position of being able to do wine tasting and have someone explain them to us and, and that kind of thing, for me, if I know I've spent £10 on a bottle of wine as opposed to £6 on a bottle of wine, I'm going to enjoy the £10 bottle of wine more because... Even you have to. Maybe it's, it's the only one it. I've got there. So I have to enjoy that because I know I've spent more on it. It's really weird. I know there's a complete have. psychological... And in, the in theory, better wines have longer finish. So you basically have a tiny little sip and it will last longer. It has a longer finish in your mouth. Um, these are quality cheeses and a little bit goes a long way because they're quite funky. They are all too cheesy for me. <laughs> Um, but that's the, there we go, I found, I found what I was trying to reference. Vino, wine, wine, wine economics. There we go. <laughs> Vinonomics. Say the word. Vinonomics. Vinonomics. And basically, if you spend £5.50 on a bottle of wine, this was data from March, only 21 pence of that is likely to be actual wine. 
The rest is all the other stuff. If you spend £10 on wine, so not even double, it's £2.48. So for double the money, you're getting 10 times the value of wine in being spent in the vineyard. I reckon the same thing applies to sausages. <laughs> you know what, you I think right. you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably correct. You might come from a natural pig, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm quite happy to compromise on sauce. <laughs> um, that poll's okay. been on the screen, and I can't decide if has something gone wrong with it or what, because 100% of you have said nostalgia and tradition. Excellent. And that's just a single vote. Great so work. I think this one we might have to come back to. That's great work. Um, I was going to say for me, though, that tequila uh, has become like a moment. And so. Oh, everyone's saying they the, can't see the poll. The time that I was getting. Ebers, your CEO of tech. <laughs> Admin. Oh, no, I remember how this works. It's numbers, you got it wrong before. Do you remember? Oh, it's not a poll. No. So, where, you mean, whereas I got oh, it wrong last time? Oh, dear Ebers. Hang so on. Sorry. I'm so sorry. This is how this is going to work. Why is this luxury or category important to you? I'm going to list off reward tweet, nostalgia tradition, orange provenance, quality taste, nutrition, value for money or other, and you have to put the associated number. This is more confusing. I shouldn't have put so many options. <laughs> if you think, if you think you choose this luxury or category because it is a reward and a treat, just type the digit one into the comments box. If you think it's because of habit and tradition and nostalgia and you always have done it and you always want to do it and it brings back memories of nostalgia, then do the digit two. So just put the number two in the comments box. If it's because you value where your food comes from, so the provenance and the origins of that food, and you might buy, I don't know, um, British asparagus instead of Peruvian asparagus because of where it's come from, so origins and provenance, then put number three. If it's all about quality and taste, you spend more money on things that you think taste better or a higher quality, it's number four. If it's about nutrition, so I'm trying to think of a good example of nutrition, maybe you spend more on energy drinks or um, uh, Just gut biotics that... and um, kombuchas and things like that, and that's what you spend your money on, then it's five. Or if it's value for money, which I think comes down to the wine conversation, so I spend a little bit more, but I know I'm getting a lot more value by spending more, then it's six. And if you've got any other reason, put seven in and then comment. Um, I'm so sorry that they didn't work out and that was a very long-winded no. way and we should probably only have done three or four of those. Yeah, is, it be is that better or worse than when I said the rackings were in this order but you have to put two, yeah. three, Vote four, one for one. yes. Two <laughs> yeah, confused things. So what I was saying about the tequila was that's now a moment in time for me because it, me getting into tequila coincided with our kitten being allowed out. Uh, Sorry. What? What? Yeah, what? Join these dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And her not coming back at night when we wanted her to. So Lucy and I would sit in the garden and wait for, like, try and call her back. Drinking. It's one of those times I realised, why, why, why does he have a platform <laughs> to I share these stories? We, we did this. We allowed <laughs> this story to happen. But please, go on. I, I don't get called the most normal normal for any reason. <laughs> Uh, and so we'd sit in the garden in like the early summer months waiting for the cat to come back and we'd sit there and we'd sip tequila and we'd chat and we'd actually have probably the best chats that we'd have all week whilst we were waiting for her to come back because it was like proper quality time together and the tequila was there and we were both enjoying that. Anyway, screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to regret that because I'm not, <laughs> well, not letting him back in. Um, one more question for you guys now. On what occasion or occasions do you go all out and enjoy these luxuries? Mm. Um, maybe that's one for, I mean, is it a, a regular thing? Is it a Friday night's treat? Is it a, a birthday or an anniversary? Or is it just when the paycheck comes in? Like, what is the occasion that means you enjoy these treats? Mm. You've got, you, what's your one? Oh, I have a Friday night ritual, right. which basically, it's not kitten based, <laughs> but it is a young thing based. Where basically me and my wife, when we get to the, we get on a Friday, uh, get to about 6 p.m., uh, put our baby down. We look Sorry, at each other. Like, put your baby down. To, for not sleep, like dogs. To okay. sleep. Um, and we get a, we just get a kebab. Like a chicken kebab from the local Mediterranean place. And... Every Friday we get that, and we look at each other and go, 
We kept her alive for another five days and we breathe a sigh of relief and they taste fantastic and we don't have to cook them. And we do it every single Friday. And it's almost like the start of our weekend. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people agreeing with you because weekend is the most popular um, response here. Follow, well, possibly just behind Christmas, which does make a lot of sense. People saving up to really splash out on Christmas. I'm um, not sure. Honestly, I've splashed out in different ways over Christmas. And I'm not sure it's been worth it. I've had lovely Christmases, but I'm not sure... Because all of the stuff, especially the trimmings, like if you're cooking like a, a an English traditional, yep, break, uh, uh, English traditional uh, Christmas dinner, things like potatoes, parsnips, carrots, like even braised cabbage, mm. it's not a huge amount the of difference the that makes by upping the veg. Even even <clears throat> I'm going to say this, like you get a Norfolk bronze turkey over another decent turkey. I can't taste the difference. It just sounds I think posher. it's everything around the side of the main Christmas dinner, though. It's not the, the dinner itself and the trimmings. It's, it's the gifting the, and the oh, presents. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a bottle of Baileys, or you know, I'm going to I'm going to do this. And a double Baileys. Yeah, double Baileys with ice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to I'm going to do all of this bit and make it a bit extra. I, well, I, yeah, I do I agree with you because I do that, and then I feel like it all gets amalgamated into one, and you kind of forget everything's nice. Then it, everything's, special. Everything's, special. Everything's, everything's special, and when special. everything's special. It Nothing doesn't feel special. like anything is special. So I, I prefer doing it at other times. So it's like, no, we're doing it. I was talking to Kush um, earlier. He was talking oh, about... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> um, he was talking about wine. And he was saying that he had um, he was given a bottle of wine uh, from when he left Le Manoir like eight years ago. Oh, did he work at a mission? He doesn't mention it occasionally. And it was a really, really nice bottle of wine. And in his head, I have to save this for a really, really special occasion. Because it's a really, really lovely bottle of wine. And uh, eight years later, that special occasion hasn't come. So he just decided he had a, a friend coming around at the weekend and he opened it then. And it wasn't the right, it wasn't the occasion, it was an occasion. Make an occasion. He went, he went yeah. do you know what? Absolutely delicious bottle of wine. I'll never be able to buy another one of those again because it was so expensive. But I drank it. I didn't. And, and, it, was, it, was, made, and it we made a memory from yeah. doing that. That's a great Don't point. wait for the memory to come along exactly. to make the memory. Do you yeah. wait for the occasion or do you create the memory from the thing that you're doing? It's literally, so there, there are, I mean, not, not that level, but there are a handful Let's of Let's make bottles. some memories today! Yes! yes! <laughs> there are a handful of bottles. Which are the most expensive ones. That are definitely nicer than others. None of them are like steep, steep. But I, w I can't justify opening it just on a random night. Even if I've got friends around, it feels like it should be an occasion. No, he Text bought that! He bought that from Bucky's! Yeah, no, there's some stories as well. Everyone, he bought that from Bucky's! Every bottle has a story. This. Every bottle has a story. That was bought from Texas. Do you recognise this one, Jay? Oh, no, not that one. There's a lot South of wine Africa. chat. South Africa. Yeah, let's move back, back away from the wine chat. That one. Wine there we chat. Go. Georgia. 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 Yeah. There we go. So every bottle has a story. Anyway, back to the important stuff. Too much wine chat. <laughs> Everyone wants to... A date night is coming out quite a lot as well. So a oh, lot of weekends, a yeah. lot of family holidays, date nights. Um, we, have to, we have to create our own, like... Date nights. Date nights and... So we recently got off a holiday, yeah, the holiday blues. We're like, oh, okay. As soon as you get that, that, that blue stage, you're like, I have to book the next holiday to know that you have, have to look... something in the diary to look forward to. And it's the same now we find with, like, eating out. We have, like, a bougie brunch probably like once a month, but as soon as you finish that meal and we treat it like a holiday, we're like, just eat whatever you want, go nuts. But as soon as you finish, you have to go- Something to look forward to. Yeah, otherwise yeah. you find yourself getting down and you start trying to fill the void with other treats that aren't as satisfying. It's very true. Somebody just said this must be a work event, there's wine and cheese. I feel like that, I feel like that is spot on. <laughs> Excellent. 2022. Excellent comment. <laughs> I've got um, an occasion is when entertaining. Yeah. And I have some sort of, perhaps it's a fallacy you around the fact that... You're sure? I've got this. I've got oh. you. Cheers. Well, that's not what... Good chat. Well, I made my point. He was talking about a fallacy. It's Ebers. <laughs> I will rebuke you in your own flat. <laughs> no means no. <laughs> um, yeah, like a fallacy that when entertaining, spending more... Mm -hmm. Makes my cooking ability any better? It doesn't. But I tell you, that there's things like um, I recently did a, a smoked 
pork, uh, Boston pork butt, like pork shoulder, pulled pork. 12 hours, you loved it. It's it great. tasted great. Um, <laughs> Doesn't sound long enough. But it was plenty long <laughs> enough. Um, but yeah, go, like going out of the way to buy something that was going to feed like eight. Yep. Possibly ten. Just eight. Mm. Um, but from the uh, from like a proper butcher, like really great, high quality piece of meat, and it did make the difference. It it did taste better, and it was great because it's also a bit of a story because you're like, oh, this is from and blah, I got blah, this, blah, and there's provenance, this, and there's butchers, and like, you have a bit of a chat about you know what the butcher's doing and and stuff like that, and therefore it adds to the occasion of when you're entertaining. But then there's other stuff that you can obviously do. I've been making a lot of um, alotes corn. Yeah, great. Have you? Wow. It's so easy. Just barbecue some corn. I can't get the proper crumbly Mexican cheese, so I just use feta. But sour cream, mayonnaise mix, bosh, feta on the top, a little bit of uh, chipotle spice. Ooh, over the fresh top. coriander, away you go. Everyone who's eaten it is like, Cilantro. oh my goodness, what is this? And I'm like, mm, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It's so easy. For those of you who just joined us, what is Ebba's cooking? We're not, we're just having like a little picky tea. Um, yeah, he lied to us as well, don't worry. A picky tea, um, we'll have the proper food once we wrap this up. But before we wrap this up, one more question for you guys, uh, on screen now. Get Maccas. What would you love <laughs> to see us eat, drink and talk about next time? So we're going to do another one of these, just kind of like a really chilled hangout. I don't know, it's like made personal, big, big night, night in, meets talking about food trends and things that matter. Um, we're going to do another one, but next time we won't have leftovers from the studio, whilst that is important for food waste, uh, but we'll have whatever you think we should do. So what should we cook, eat, drink, and talk about next time? Uh, comment down below uh, now. 43 of you, 50 of you have now answered the question. Uh, 56 of you have answered the question, and we are compiling all of this so that later on we can work it out and do whatever is popular. Yes, bring Big Night In back. That's kind of what this is, it's like a small night, a mediocre night in. <laughs> average, average. <laughs> average. I think it might grow to a reasonable size. Okay, but it's, it's starting off very, very <laughs> mediocre. What are some of the things that people are suggesting? So people are saying we should do biryani. Wine is wine is popular. Uh, cheese tradition, no. making food, a Viking feast, bay leaves, full English breakfast. Um, We've only got to stay the night. Uh, honestly, the comments are going by so quick, which is why we've got this thing to, to track them all. But making stuff. It seems they want to see us cook, maybe rather than just eat Cornish pasties. Make our, own, make our own kebabs. We've not made our own kebabs for a long time, actually. Cornish, something Cornish. We could uh... Caribbean. So many great suggestions. More unscripted rubbish is what someone just said. <laughs> that's what this is. <laughs> just hanging out. Um, but that's. I mean, that's literally it. Yeah, it is really nice though, because. We said ages ago we're going to do more of these, and we have done more of these, but just not as well. It's we been a whole weekend of them. Okay, we did do we that. We did a we? whole weekend of them, which took up a bit of time. Mm. Yeah. Um, but now now we're back, and as we come into the, I dare I say it, autumn, because we've got some lovely weather in summer, but as we come into the autumn, we'll do more of these, more hangouts. We've got all your suggestions. In Ben's flat. Yeah, we're coming um, into your flat more Yeah, we'll, put out a, we'll drop a pin. Well, because we were saying, that obviously, the last, the wild weekend, we weren't able to invite people to it, like, physically. Uh, well, I've, yeah. done, I've done my stint, so it's around to James next time. I just think we could get quite a few. How many people do we think we could get in Ben's flat? <laughs> oh, easily, I reckon 500. We'd be cramped. <laughs> it's 500 square foot, that gives you a square foot each. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some of you will be in the fridge. <laughs> There's lots of booze in the fridge. That would work really well. Excellent. I'm going to end this question now. And everything is locked in. This has been really nice. I've enjoyed it. Proper chilled out. I'm going to be honest, my glass is empty, so I need to top it up. I could top it up. What would you like? But, is it? There's a thousand options. <laughs> oh, we'll come to that in a minute. Oh, there's a we didn't find the Chateau Neuf de Pape. Oh, there's a Neuf de Pape. It's, it's too pap. fat, that doesn't fit in the wine rack. That's why it has to stand up. It's very annoying. Or if it's looking out of place, we could just drink it. Let's make memories. Um, on that note, thank you for joining <laughs> us. We're off to make some memories. Um, and. <laughs> Probably positive memories. <laughs> see you soon, maybe Friday, 4 pm. We'll see you on YouTube then. Cool. Say goodbye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Cheerio.